Welcome back, everybody. So people all across the world are remembering the life and the legacy of Nelson Mandela today. One local man followed the Chicago Children's Choir as they sang at Mandela's home. John Palumbo is putting that story into a documentary called Singing in Color. Joins us now to tell us more about it. Boy, this is a fascinating documentary. They got to sing for Nelson Mandela? They actually did get to sing. When the choir made this journey into South Africa, I don't know that it was clear that they would actually get to meet and go into his home. But they actually did, and they went into the home. And some of the clips I think that we may have here this morning show where they sang for him oh, yeah. and the special message that he gave to them back when they made this journey. Now, your involvement, so this, this took place in the 90s when they went over and they started the filming, um, but this documentary almost didn't make it. It almost did not make it. Uh, it ran into some financial problems. I stepped up to the plate uh, several years ago to rescue it and to make sure that the Chicago Children's Choir would benefit from this film and the sale of this documentary. So it's sold exclusively through the Chicago Children's Choir and it helps benefit them and all of the things that they represent, their music and their message of hope and faith for children around the world. There's a very touching scene in the documentary where the choir is singing and they're in one of the villages and the children who live there had never seen anything like it. And the choir is clapping and all of a sudden, you know, the children just join forces and join them on the stage? They merge. They all come together. It's, it's one of those moments in the film where you see them all come together. It's like electricity. There was nothing staged there. It's like electricity. They all come together and they all sing together and they're clapping and singing. So it's just a really inspirational film seeing all the places that they went to it's in South Africa. amazing how music can bring the world together. Really, and that's what, one of the reasons it's called A Musical Journey for Peace, which of course was Nelson Mandela's ultimate goal. Um, you know, peace that is. So how has this documentary and how has the money that's coming in for this children choir, for the children's choir enabled them to go and do more of these activities and more of these performances? Well, the choir is a nonprofit organization that was started in 1956. So it's been around for many years. This film is a small segment of the many things that they do, but it will play a huge role, I believe, in the next few months as they get ready for their next trip to South Africa, which they are planning. And so they are looking for funding and the sale of this film and all the proceeds go to that. When they went to Nelson Mandela's house, what was the takeaway for these kids? To meet a man who was the great liberator, to meet a man who freed a country, to meet a man who was just filled with wit and charm and perseverance. Well, I, I, there's a few interviews on the documentary itself where they're talking and I think some people would just have to watch that. But I would love personally to be in touch with some of these children. Yeah. You know, this was done well over 10 years ago. So they've not only come out of school, they filtered into the real world of life. And I would love to be able to track them down right now to actually see what that meant to them to actually meet with him now that they're watching history in progress and how they feel about the honor that they got back then. I bet those lessons never left them. I know, I was thinking about, I was thinking that, you know, when we were talking about this documentary earlier, what those, what now those adults must be thinking as they're watching all this unfold today. They've got to, it's got to be hitting right here. There's no question uh, that if I were sitting there and I knew that I made that trip years ago, Nelson Mandela was in the news, uh, you know, for the last many years, but to watch what is unfolding now in history and to know that they were there in a spot where so few people have ever been, it's got to be inspiring. And you can still get this through the Chicago Children's Choir? The Chicago Children's Choir, they have these on DVD, and you can certainly order them. Uh, there's a website, singingincolor.com, where you can go to for more information, which will lead you straight to the choir. John Colombo, thank you very much. Thank My you, pleasure. John. We appreciate it. History right there.